What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. In today's video, we are testing out some new Too Faced Natural Collection. Let's first just say this packaging is freaking adorable. I absolutely love it. I think it's so chic. It looks expensive and I'm just kind of living for it. This collection just launched on Too Faced. I actually bought these two palettes at Generation Beauty LA. Too Faced had a big booth there. They had all of their entire natural collection there to purchase and I actually got 40% off of these palettes, so I actually wasn't even going to buy anything from the natural collection from Too Faced just because it just isn't really like my major cup of tea even though I thought it was like super pretty and everything like that I was just going to pass on buying it but we were at Gen Beauty they were there for 40% off so I'm up at the counter I'm looking at a couple different things at first I was just going to get the natural matte eyeshadow palette and then the very last minute I was like okay just get the face palette too because it's 40% off and that made it all okay for me <laughs> I just can't get over the packaging I mean it comes in like this, this is the face palette you open it up like this oh, it's another little box and then you open it up and then you pull out the palette right there I already have the palette out so that's why it's empty the natural matte eyeshadow palette is the exact same type of component and I just think it is so freaking cute I am just living for it here are the two Two palettes themselves we got the natural matte eyeshadow palette we got the natural face palette <laughs> so let's open up the eyeshadow palette so you open it up it looks like this it has a really good quality mirror in it you get six shadows and these are like shadows too but they're more like highlights as well you got all the names right here on the palette the mirror is a really good quality mirror the packaging itself it's not super heavy but it, it does have a little bit of weight to it and I just am, am in love with this. You can feel the lettering on it. It's just super chic and I am living for it. Here is the face palette. Let's open it up and it has your bronzers on this side. We have your blushes right here and then we have the two highlights right here and then of course the mirror up here and it says Too Faced. Um, you do have the shade names on the palette here as well. It's just a really pretty freaking palette. I think I mainly bought it because I got it on sale and just looking at it in person it's so beautiful. Those pictures on Instagram do not do these palettes any type of justice. Once you see it in person, it is just completely beautiful. I'm not gonna do swatches of the eyeshadow palette because I use almost every single color on my eyes so you can see how they work on the eyes, but I will swatch the face palette so you guys can see how the colors look as they're swatched. All right, we got swatches on the arm. You guys know I'm not a good swatcher, okay? So <laughs> I'm not doing these shadows any kind of justice with these swatches, but we'll start up at the top. This top one is Starlight, and that's definitely gonna be more of a blush topper for me. And then we have Satin Sheets right under that, and that is what I put on my cheeks. And then I had to top it off with another highlighter because it was just too gold for me. And we have the first blush shade which is pink wink which is super cute but too pinky for me for a blush it'll probably be better as an eyeshadow for me as well and then we have pink sand pink sand is what I'm wearing today and that's like a horrible swatch it did not swatch very well on the arm for me then moving on to the bronzers we have sunny honey that is the bronzer that I'm wearing today and then I actually this last one is Trop It Like It's Hot. Oh, I love that name. It's more of like a satin cream formula. It has the most pigment out of all of these, and I really should have tried that on my face, but I'm excited to try that color. So those are the swatches of the face palette. The eyeshadow palette retails for $38. The face palette retails for $44, so they're definitely not cheap. I definitely think that you are paying for packaging because 
I will say it again, the packaging is beautiful. I think there's nothing else to do except to get started on this makeup look right here. So if you want to see how I applied those shadows on my eyes and how they worked while I was applying them, and you want to see how the shades and the face palette worked out applying on my face, then make sure you keep on watching. Eyes are already primed. We, of course, used my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and said it was some Laura Mercier setting powder. Now let's dip into this palette. She is just gorgeous. To start off, we're gonna use this shade right here and it's called Heaven. We're gonna get this on the inner corner area of my eye. Now we're going to use this shade right here. It's called All Natural. And this is gonna be like our transition. We are mainly keeping all the shadows on the outer corner today. I'm gonna try a little soft smoky eye, I guess. Once we get most of the product off the brush, then we slightly blend it toward the inner corner area. We are keeping shadow all the way to the lash line. That first brush was a Morphe M441. I am switching my brush to, what is this, my MAC 217. We're gonna dip into less is more up here. And we are starting down here by the lash line. We will just be working our way up a little bit into the crease. In between each step, I will be picking up my bigger fluffer blender and just blending all the rough edges. Now we're gonna use this purple shade right here called Cleavage, and we're pretty much gonna use almost every shadow in this palette just because. And all we're doing is we are deepening up this outer corner area. So I'm gonna start right at the lash line and work my way up to the crease. going into hookup right here same thing starting at the lower lash line and working our way up this time I'm gonna really like pack it and then blend it don't forget to blend everything out after each step now we're using sexpert up here in the top corner same thing. We are down to the last eyeshadow. So now we're dipping into Risky Business. Actually, I think I want to use a different brush for this. All right, so we're going to try this MAC 214, and we're dipping into Risky Business keeping this really close to the lash line to finish off this smoke just trying to see if i'm even here <laughs> i know i put like a light color on the lid but i think i need to touch it up just a little bit and i think i'm going to use this color called lace teddy i'm using a kylie blender we're just going to dip into that get that on the inner corner area All right, we're gonna move forward. So I'm gonna clean up my eyes on this area, you know, get some foundation on, and we will be back to jump into that face palette. Our eye look is done. I just went ahead and finished the bottom of my eyes, and I use this color, all natural. Oh, and then I use Sexpert up here, and then I put a little bit of brown eyeliner just on the outer corner. Now, I already know that these highlights are probably gonna be too dark for me, but we're still going to try them out anyways. I'll probably end up having to top it off with one of my regular highlighters that I use every day. We're gonna see how these work. I do have a little bit of bronzer on right now just so I could do a little tiny bit of contour on my cheeks and my forehead. So I did use a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil for my nose contour, just the regular Chocolate Soleil. And then I used the Dark Chocolate Soleil for my cheekbones, my forehead, and my jawline. And then we're going to bronze them up with the bronzers in this palette. I'm using a Morphe Bedazzled angled blush brush type thing and we are going to dip into sunny honey right here just to bronze up a little bit more
Moving on to blushes, I'm definitely not going to use this one. It's not going with my lip today. I'm going to use this just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. That's cute. Okay. Now let's dip into some highlight. I'm using a Morphe M510. We're going to, I already know that that's not going to work out on my cheekbones. I'll use it for a little blush topper over here, but we're going to dip into this. See how this looks on our face. Oh, oh, that's like kind of super goldy. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Wow. So I haven't even wet the brush and there's quite a bit of pigment on here. Wasn't expecting that. That's like super gold. I did not expect that. Okay. Well, let's make it even on this side. Let's just get a little on my nose, some leftover from the brush. So I'm going to top off the highlight real quick using the Anastasia XM Rizzi. Now we're going to dip into Starlight up here and just kind of top off that blush that we put on and kind of mix that with the highlight. Oh, that's super pinky. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, these blushes, these pigments. And we are done. What do you guys think of this look? What do you think of the shadows? What do you think of the highlight blush and bronzer? Let me know down below in the comments. I think that these shadows worked out really well, especially since I don't normally just do like, oh, you know what? I forgot. So I totally forgot that I wanted to do an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna dip into satin sheets right here. We're just gonna try to get some inner corner highlight going on. Yes, I really like how that is bringing this eye look together. Yes, I definitely like how that highlight ma is making the eyes pop. So I really like these shadows in the natural matte palette, especially considering I'm just not really a matte eyeshadow type of girl. I very rarely er ever just use like a matte eye look. Um, so, you know, I had to pop a little highlight in that inner corner to make it pop. I think the shadows have great pigment in all of the shadows that I use because I used every shadow except for this middle one right here. I think that they, for the most part, blended out pretty well together. And the packaging is just too freaking adorable. As for the natural face palette, I do like the shadows in here. They are super pigmented. Don't need to pick up a lot of product on your brush when you're putting these on. I think overall the colors are super pretty. I can see myself using most of these for like everyday type looks and things like that. I do think that they blended out pretty well together as well. So overall like a really good face palette right here. Now the highlights are just a little, not my shade range, um, but I can see myself using them for inner corner highlights or even putting them on top of a lid or just using them as like a highlight base and then t topping them off with brighter highlight that I typically lean towards. But overall, I think that these are two really great palettes from Too Faced. If you were thinking about getting them, I think they're definitely worth it if you need a matte eyeshadow palette and you need a face palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Too Faced natural collection review, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!